In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we welcome you to celebrate with us the third Sunday of Easter in this Mass offered from the Holy Angels Chapel of the Catholic Center of the Diocese of Las Vegas. We remember you and your intentions and your families. We also remember the repose of the soul of our sister Louise, who died this past week. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. May your people exult forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that, rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. The God of our fathers has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the holy and righteous one and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand, through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, Lord let, let your, your face, face shine, shine on us. When I call, answer me, O oh my just God. You who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Lord, Lord let, let your, your face, face shine, shine on us. us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Lord, Lord let, let your face shine, shine on us. us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart. Lord, Lord let, let your, your face, face shine, shine on us. us. 
As soon as I lie down, I fall peacefully asleep. For you, alo- for you alone, O Lord, bring security to my dwelling. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Juan. Hijos míos, les escribo esto para que no pequen. Pero si alguien peca, tenemos como intercesor ante el Padre a Jesucristo el justo. Porque Él se ofreció como víctima de expiación por nuestros pecados, y no solo por los nuestros, sino por los del mundo entero. En esto tenemos una prueba de que conocemos a Dios en que cumplimos sus mandamientos. El que dice, yo lo conozco, pero no cumple sus mandamientos, es un mentiroso, y la verdad no está en él. Pero en aquel que cumple su palabra, el amor de Dios ha llegado a su plenitud, y precisamente en esto conocemos que estamos unidos a él. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. Aleluya, 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 aleluya. Lord Jesus, open the scriptures to us. Make our hearts burn while you speak to us. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Here are two scripture verses from our first two readings beautifully proclaimed today. Listen carefully. Repent, therefore, and be converted, 
that your sins may be wiped away from the Acts of the Apostles. And also we heard, I'm writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. From the first epistle of John. We might ask, why the focus on sin in this third Sunday of Easter? Well, perhaps the Holy Gospel, Jesus speaking to the Emmaus disciples, tells us, thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. At times, we may wonder, does our world even believe in sin anymore? We tend to focus on goodness of people even as we see our world crumble all around us because of wars and hatreds and conflicts. Jesus came to be our Savior. But so many today do not want a Savior. They want pleasure and money and power and other things. We shouldn't be too surprised then that the world is a mess. That is why our Savior came. But salvation is never imposed. Instead, we are invited, continuously being invited, as were those early disciples on the road to Emmaus, to live our lives in the way our Savior taught, and to th know the difference that that makes in our way of life. Easter is about the death of Jesus and his resurrection, and each of us is invited to share in his death and resurrection, to die to ourselves. So, that we can live in Christ Jesus, living the way he lived. We are invited in this blessed time of Easter to deepen our faith in the risen Christ by renewing the promises of our baptism, to die to self, and to live in the Lord. Words are easy. But deeds are costly. Once we understand and believe that Christ is truly risen, then our lives change. There's no one else who has ever done this, risen from the dead. There's no one else who has ever invited us to share in his divine life. There is no one else who has ever promised that he would remain with us always in the breaking of the bread and always. Only Christ Jesus. And yes, Christ Jesus is risen. Alleluia. Please join in our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, 
Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us turn to the Lord in prayer. For the church, that her members may live a new way, free from sin, resurrected in Christ Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That forgiveness of sins beginning in Jerusalem may culminate in our own experience of reconciliation in Christ in this Easter season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may come to see that all the divisions in the world are a result of our personal sins and that unity comes through our personal conversions to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in the coming days of Easter, our parishes may experience resurrection with the full opening of our churches and the sacramental communion of all the faithful. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord's resurrection may be experienced in this life through our living in a state of grace and in the life to come through our resurrection on the last day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers. If they be in accord with your will for us, and for our eternal salvation. We ask that you grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And with the of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise 
and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George Leo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember all also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever.
Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with one another the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof. Can we say the word? My soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we have the Final blessing, the solemn blessing of this Mass. I wish to thank all those who helped uh, minister at this uh, taped and televised Mass for the faithful of Las Vegas from the parish of Our Lady of Las Vegas. I want to thank our lectors, Rocio Martinez and Amelia Cargill, who exercised that ministry of lector in their home parish. And from another parish, from Our Lady of the Valley, Pahrump, and Christ of the Desert on Margosa Valley and St. Catherine of Siena Parish in Sandy Valley, our, our deacon, Deacon Rick Minch, who serves us so faithfully, and Jeff Mastro recording this Mass for us so that all of us could encounter and meet Jesus in the breaking of the bread. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of the risen Lord. Thanks be to God.